Hey YouTube, Katie Hill Farmer coming back with another little short video. Uh, I know I did not want to make this video, but before we get into it, please go check out the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Katie Hill Farmer. Also, if you like what you see, you ain't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button or hit the like button, you know, comment below. It all helps out the channel, but uh, let's go ahead and get into the video. Uh, uh, first of all, just by looking around here in the shed, you watch my videos, which you yeah, have the stock trailers in here, but something else ain't or is not in here. Uh, we actually got it out of here last night, and uh, but uh, also here's the <laughs> there's the instrument that got put on over the weekend uh we finally put the deck on the 2038r uh i broke a couple of the pins as you can see in the deck because i didn't uh put my tires back in yet so uh but yeah the deck is on 2038r uh we have i did cut the grass once uh around the yard but uh yeah i can usually you know you wait till easter or you know it saves bad luck to cut your grass before easter but i mean it was this mild uh winter we had and you know we've already had 80 plus degree days and uh like i said it, it was a foot high in places which uh you know the tractor didn't have no problems with that but uh also i didn't didn't have the camera and didn't video it but uh cleared some property off which is where all that stuff came from in the uh, grill the 2038 uh but yeah uh the i guess the bad thing is right now you know i'm not gonna put, put on the fertilizer spreader uh had to move this out the way you get stock trailer in here but uh as you guys can see the cattle are in the pasture for this present time uh not sure how long i'm going to keep them out here i'm just going to keep my eye on it uh they've not really put a dent in the grass that's growed right now but uh the bull has been took out of the field uh we took loaded him up yesterday and for, for those that you who have guessed uh the squeeze shoot is on uh i've not got it completely put on yet but uh it is out there and uh we will be doing vaccinations tags and stuff in upcoming videos uh so I guess this is kind of just a catch-up video for the channel. Uh, I know a lot of you like to watch it, uh, but it's, it's, uh, uh, we had a few good days here, and it dried up. So, I mean, he just had to he had to go with it. I mean, and uh, I didn't bring the video camera along. Uh, also, another, like I said, uh, the bull is going. Uh, there is one more heifer calf or heifer that should be bred and she is right there she should uh she's going down the road she is sold uh so the only thing now i have one more yet the calf and uh yeah she's late but uh who we purchased them off of they gave a i can't remember they gave him a shot and you know she was uh she's supposed to be bred for fall breed breeding and uh i'm actually watching her because she had a limp and it seems like her limp's getting better now but uh we had him uh anyhow to get him back on that subject we uh she was scheduled for fall breeding they gave him a shot uh 
it was I want to say C C H D or C D H or something like that. Something that the deer were getting here around this area last year, and uh, they just decided, which there was no physical evidence, but they decided to give the shots to him. Which you're thinking <clears throat> made the cow not want or not come in the heat and she when she got exposed to the bull again she got it and but uh she does look bred she's not making sacks or anything yet but uh anyhow she is other than that she's doing fine uh the cow that was limping that was my biggest reason i want to get the squeeze shoot on uh i wanted to make sure before uh it's all said and done that if I had to doctor at foot, I'd have the squeeze shoot out there. And like I said, I had a couple of good dry days to do it. So we took it out there. And uh, believe me, when you have that, uh, that's a Tartar Series 3 squeeze shoot automatic head gate. And when you have it on a 2038R tractor, it is, uh, I usually put a round bell behind me or uh, my uh, weight baluster there right there in the corner. And, uh, yeah it'll uh it's about all you want but uh anyhow like i said you can see the cattle they're really enjoying the grain the uh or the green grass excuse me and there's one of the calves now coming up to drink some water yeah they uh all of them's doing really good and they're feeling a little frisky you'll have that in these big jobs but uh as you can see they're all pretty well feeling good you just the biggest thing is you gotta make sure they don't tear up your grass but uh right now i'm gonna try to get some water in their trough for them that way they're not which just got electric on that's why i'm being so careful and reach down here. But there you have it. There's the cattle. Uh, like I said, they still, I can tell where they've ate, but we'll get some fertilizer on it here soon. Looks like another shower is getting ready to come up. That's why I wanted to actually run the calves through the chute today and uh, get them done and go ahead and get the uh, quiet wean in them and I'll have to do a video on that but uh, it actually uh, for you, those of you that be new into it the quiet wean is just a it's a in my opinion it's a great way to lower the stress on the calf and uh, all that good stuff sorry there I'm kind of watching that one cow walk like i said she has a limp don't know if it's in her hoof or where but we got her on some drier pasture now so we'll see what happens but uh anyhow that's what's kind of going on on the farm i try not to forget i have the water on uh also like i said those will be some upcoming videos of uh vaccinations and ear tagging and tattooing i know i got tattooed a couple of them you know three of them and uh all that good stuff so but uh anyhow thanks for watching everybody uh hope you're staying safe and uh i know with all the stuff going around uh it's been a little crazy around here but uh we will hopefully get back to normal here soon but uh as for here on the farm everything's good uh but we will talk to you guys later hope you have a great weekend or uh if you're off of work i hope you you know you're doing something constructive with your time but right now we're still working we're considered considered essential employees and nice thing about it even they did think about the agricultural and you know i can still get feed and all that good stuff but uh anyways thanks for watching guys we'll talk to you later katie hill farmer